hello guys and welcome to GED math prep okay so in today's video I'm going to be continuing the questions of our GED math practice questions on slopes okay I've treated the part one please check that out and I'm also going to leave the link to the playlist uh, in the video description box of this video okay and um, and um, if this is your first time on this channel please click the subscribe button support us to grow and also the notification bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload a video for you and also share to your friends family and loved ones uh, preparing for the GED math practice prep okay so here is a question now the first question will treat more of uh, on the slope formula and here we're going to be treating more on the slope intercept formula and uh, the point slope formula okay and i hope you remember let me just quickly um, the slope intercept formula is what y is equal to mx plus b where m is your slope and b is the intercept okay that's a slope intercept formula then you have a point slope formula where you have y minus y1 is equal to m bracket what x minus what x1 okay where you put your points okay that's a coordinate point you're being given all right so now we're going to be i'm going to be explaining where you can apply these two formulas in these questions i have here okay so um, this first question says, what is the equation on the line with a slope of minus 4 that passes through point this? Now, in this question, you're given a slope and you're given a point. All right. So uh, you can either use this or use this. You can use any of this formula to solve this question. But the faster formula to use is this. Okay, since we're not told to look for the intercept, you know, this B here is the intercept. We're not told to look for the intercept. The faster formula for you to use here is this. All right, and make your equation as this, where Y will stand alone on the left-hand side of the equation. Okay, so we already have our point. This is our point, X1 and what Y1. So we're going to put in this point into this formula and our m here will be given m as what minus 4 okay which is the slope remember the symbol for slope is what m okay so now let's put it put this into this equation we have y would be uh okay y will stand here we have minus what is y1 y1 is 2 equal to our slope is what minus 4 comma we have x here minus what is x1? x1 is what? 1. Okay, so let's simplify this. Okay, so we have y minus 2 equal to opening up this bracket. We have minus 4 times x. We have a minus 4x. Then minus 4 times minus 1. We're going to have a positive what? 4. Your minus will multiply your minus to have a positive, and 4 times 1 is a 4. So let's simplify this. Take this minus 2 here bringing minus 2 to the other side of the equation we have going to have a plus 2 okay we add 2 so we have y is equal to minus 4x plus 4 plus 2 so we have here minus 4x what is 4 plus 2 that will give us 6 so we have plus 6 so this is the equation of the line y is equal to minus 4x plus 6 and our right option here is option b you can see this is a faster method if we had if we use this we first of all slot in um, the values of x1 and y1 into the equation and also the slope uh, minus 4 into the equation then we have to first get b then after we get b that's when we'll now come back again this you have like two steps to do here but for these questions to be faster when you have this you have a slope and a point just use the point okay slope formula okay this is the point slope formula all right use this all right and it will be faster for you okay let's get on to um the next question now you can see this question now it says what is the y-intercept of the line with a slope of two that passes through the point this so this is quite easy and straightforward we'll use the word slope intercept word formula which is what y is equal to mx plus b Okay, we're here. This is your X and this is your Y. I always tell students whenever I'm tutoring, okay, I do online tutoring via Zoom. So I always tell students, always label this. Okay, so you don't get confused when imputing your values into 
the formula all right and if you're interested in joining um, in having an online private um, class with me you can uh, join after yeah I'm gonna leave the link of the Facebook group in the video description box of this video you can join the Facebook group over it uh, I think we're about 1,400 um, members in the group so you there's several resources you can get on the group you know motivation and um, videos just to help you pass your GED math test if you're finding difficult uh, with your math test so on the group you can um, send me a private message okay I'm uh, the admin of the group send me a private message and tell me your time I will schedule a time for your classes to help you out with your test okay so uh, here now we have y equal to mx plus b so we're going to use this formula which is what the slope intercept what formula all right so we are just going to find b that's what the question asks what is the y intercept and the intercept here in this formula is what b so we have our x and y and we have our slope so i remember slope is what m okay don't forget that so let's put in our value y is what 2 equal to our slope is what 2 comma uh, our times all right what is our x our x is 1 plus b so here we have 2 equal to 2 times 1 is what 2 plus b okay so let's take this 2 to this side all right when we take a positive to this to this side we have a negative 2 equal to b and 2 minus 2 is a 0 so uh, 0 is equal to b which is the same thing as b is equal to 0 so our intercept the y intercept of of the line is what zero okay and our right option here is option b so you can see how easy that is all right so slope intercept formula and also your point slope formula those formulas will be on your formula sheet so don't um, be scared on uh, you know cramming the formulas and all they'll be all be on your formula sheet so it's just to know where and when to apply them all right so you don't get stuck and confused all right so let's uh, move on to the next question you know this week i'm treating slope questions most important practice uh ged questions on slope this week so make sure you stay tuned and uh, watch all the videos i'm also going to leave the playlist uh, link of all slope questions um in the video description box of this video okay so uh, our so our final question here says the other pair minus 2 minus 1 is a solution to which of the following equation what this simply means is just slot in the values of this as x and y into or you have to test on all these options okay so whichever gives you the value on your right hand side is the solution to what um, is the is the equation okay is the solution to whatever equation it is okay so let's try for this option a here option a let's put in our value we have minus 4 x is what minus 2 minus uh, y is minus 1 so minus 1 what would this give us this is a uh, minus 4 minus uh, times minus 2 we're going to have a positive 8 this negative will multiply this negative we're going to have a positive 1 and when you do 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 it is not the solution this is 7 and this is 9 it's not the same so let's try this we have a 4 bracket minus 2 remember x is minus 2 then we have a positive this is the equation it has a positive here so we have a positive so our y is what minus one bracket so let's see what would this give us this will give us four times minus two we have a minus eight uh, this is positive multiplying this we have a negative what one and what is negative eight negative nine our answer is going to go up upward as it's going to increase so we have a nine and the sign will be what a negative if you don't understand uh, your sign rules how to add multiply subtract sign numbers i have a video on the channel i'm also going to leave the link um a lot of students um get confused on it i'm going to leave the link to that video in the video description box of this video to help you out understand signs okay all right so we have minus nine so it is not the same it is wrong let's try option c so we have four bracket this is option c 
bracket minus 2, bracket minus, bracket minus 1. Okay, y is minus 1, don't forget. So here we have 4 times minus 2, we have a minus 8. Minus times minus will give us a positive 1. Okay, and what is minus 8 plus 1? That will give us what a negative 7. So you can see this is the answer because we have a negative 7. So this is a negative 7 equal to a negative 7. So this other pair is a solution to this what equation. Let's try the last one to confirm. Okay, so we have minus 4 here, bracket minus 2, then plus bracket minus 1. Let's see what this gives us. Minus 4 times minus 2, we're going to have a positive 8. Okay, please, I, I know for some, this, this is going to be quite fast the way I'm solving it because of the signs. But please do watch that sign video. It's going to help you understand what we are doing here. Okay, so we have positive multiplied by this negative here. We're going to have a negative, so 1. Okay, so an 8 minus 1 is what is equal to what? 7 and this is not this is 7 7 is not equal to minus 7 they are different things okay so this is what wrong so the right option here is option c this is the solution to this word equation okay so our answer here is option c so thank you uh okay i don't want this video to be quite long that's what i'm breaking it into uh you know bits bits just small that's what i'm breaking it into into small chunks of 10 10 minutes okay so Thank you for staying tuned. Make sure you watch the, the, the first part. I'll, I'm going to put the link to the playlist for you to watch all the videos. Okay. All right. So thank you for staying tuned. And don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ. For he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead us to life everlasting. All right. There is life after death. Okay, there's no empty blank space after death. There's life after death. And that life is in Christ Jesus. It's in making heaven at last. So thank you. And you just always know that Jesus loves you no matter what, no matter who you are. He loves you. And all you need to do is live a holy and righteous life. Thank you so much for staying tuned to GED Mad Prep. And see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Just give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends, family and loved ones preparing for the test. Alright, thank you and see you in our next video. Bye.